I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! Oh, oh, oh. Um, are oh. you okay, Baby Bob? Oh, Barney, I'm so mad! Oh, boy. Oh, 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 I'm really, really mad! Oh, 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 she's really mad today! Oh, 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 I'm really, really mad! But if you take some slow breaths, your mad will go away. Breathe. 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 <laughs> Did that help? A little, but... Oh, 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 I'm still really, really mad. Oh, 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 she's really mad today. Oh, 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 I'm really, really mad. But if you march around the park, your mad will go away. March, march, march. Did marching help? A little, but... Ooh, 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 I'm still really, really mad. Ooh, 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 she's really mad today. Ooh, 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 I'm really, really mad. But if you sing this song again, your mad will go away. La, 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 I hope that helps. Uh, good morning. Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, Uncle Lou here. Uh, yeah. I uh, hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, well, me? Oh, I know. I'm doing fine. Uh, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Uh, yep. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, anyway, uh, good morning. Um, this is Uncle Lou live on YouTube for you today. Uh, yep. Yeah, with a, uh, very interesting, uh, video today. Which fan base this year did Uncle Lou piss off the most? Uh, or which fan base hates Uncle Lou the most or is the angriest uh, or the maddest? Uh, now, I'm going to have to answer this question sort of in, in two parts, and, and you'll understand why as I go along here. Um, I, I'm, we're going to start with a Tennessee fan, Voltard fan. Um, a lot of them got mad, uh, a lot. In terms of number of people that got mad, Tennessee is definitely at the top of the list. The Voltards went full potato, uh, during my Tennessee hate week, uh, and especially, uh, in the week or so following the game for obvious reasons. Uh, so, in terms of just pure numbers, it goes to Tennessee. I mean, they were uh, they they were literally beside themselves uh, with Uncle Lou. Now, the reason this has to be answered in two parts, I'm going to name a second fan base here in a second. The reason, ha the, and you'll understand why. The reason uh, this has to be answered in two parts is because <clears throat> a lot of the Tennessee fans that were that were uh, big mad at Uncle Lou. Uh, both on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Uh, most of them, well, I don't know about most, a lot of them continued to watch Uncle Lou after the Tennessee game, and most of them figured it out. So as it turns out, Voltard fan is not quite as dumb or as stupid uh, as I made them out to be. Uh, the majority of them figured it out within a week or two and have learned to... Either ignore Uncle Lou and quit watching, uh, or or the the better alternative, they have continued to watch Uncle Lou, uh, and they're able to enjoy it for what it is because they're smart enough and they figured it out. And I, I I'm not going to explain it, but they figured it out and they've learned to laugh along. Uh, and I, I I give you guys credit for that. Uh, like I said, not quite as dumb uh, Voltard fan as I originally thought you would be. Now. On to the angriest fan base of the year, without a doubt, without question. Uh, now, there are not as many uh, of these fans, and, you, and as soon as I name the team, you'll know why. I'll go ahead and tell you, it's Georgia Tech. Um, it's Georgia Tech without a question. Uh, the North Avenue nerds are, I, I, I mean, they're, they're steaming. They're literally boiling, uh, smoke coming out of their ears and their nose, they are, they are so mad at Uncle Lou, they can't type a, a, a complete sentence in the comment section. Um, or even a coherent um, sentence. 
Now, of course, there's not nearly as many Ten uh, Georgia Tech fans mad at Uncle Lou as there were Tennessee fans for obvious reasons. There aren't very many Georgia Tech fans, especially football fans. And the majority of the Georgia Tech fan, football fans that are out there only come out if and when they beat UGA. Uh, you know, the rest of the year, they could care less about football. Um, you know, f for 13 of the last 16 years, they haven't said a word. Um, not all of them, but the vast majority of Georgia Tech fans fall into that category. They don't know anything about football, and, and really they could care less about it uh, just in general. Unless and until they beat UJ, which I give them credit. They've done it three times out of the last 16 years, so, you know, congrats to Georgia Tech fan. But here's the difference, though. And which, you know, this is a little strange because you might think it would be the other way around. But just how I mentioned that Tennessee fan has figured it out and learned to either ignore me altogether, you know, quit watching or, uh, you know, have just learned to accept me or Uncle Lou for what he is. They've learned to enjoy, enjoy it and appreciate it. They've, they've learned to laugh at it. Georgia Tech fan. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's like a five stages of grief type thing, and, and, and you know, they're not quite there yet, and, and they will be because, I mean, you know, the game was only, what, three days ago now. Um, and and even, even for Tennessee fans, like I said, it took them a week or two to sort of to sort of catch on and figure it out. Who knows? Georgia Tech may come around, but, but from if the last couple of days is any indication, I don't expect that to happen. Um, so you would think it maybe it'd be the other way around. The Georgia Tech people are supposedly the smartest people on the planet. Um, I had one tell me the other day that it was a Georgia Tech graduate who discovered water on Mars. Um, yeah, congratulations, I guess. I, I'll keep that in mind the next time I'm on Mars um, and get thirsty. I, I mean, I don't, I, I, you know, what it is what it is. But, you know, they, they aren't able to figure it out. I don't know if they're blinded by anger uh, or, or jealousy of UGA jealousy of uncle lou even uh but you know it is what it is um so uh, the, the, the here's the difference really is what this is what it comes down to they uh they can't accept it you know uh they're blinded they're i mean just blinded blinded by their anger uh for uncle lou they can't you know they haven't figured it out maybe they will i don't know um we'll uh We'll see. But there you have it, the two angriest fan bases of the year, the two fan bases that have hated Uncle Lou the most, uh, both of which I can, I can, I can say uh, are for pretty obvious reasons. I, I, I did give Tennessee fans and, and the Tennessee football program a lot of hell this year. Um, Georgia Tech is only on Uncle Lou's mind about six days a year. Uh, you know, so uh, it, it, that, that, that makes it even more sad about how, how mad Georgia Tech fan is. I mean, I have pretty much dog Tennessee fan <laughs> from January and, and continuing to do it now, uh, and they still have found a way to figure it out. Georgia Tech fan, I, you know, I, I only mention them about six days a year, uh, and they're completely uh, and utterly even uh, beside themselves. But anyway, uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this video, uh, and, and maybe you learned a little something about Mars. I don't know. Uh, yep. Uh, anyway, oh, Josh Dobbs is going to be an astronaut. Georgia Tech discovered water on Mars. Uh, you know, maybe there's some sort of connection there. I don't know. Anyway, have a great day and an even better morning, if you can.